Hello. I'm a Cobra Trooper, and I'm here today to talk about something very important that's going on in the world right now. It's about the coronavirus, and I'm sure you all know about it. It's been all over the news. Doctors and other people of importance have been talking about how people should not try to get coronavirus because it could be very deadly. But we all know that battles have been raging on and on, and that makes it really hard when the when the when the forces of good and evil are fighting one another. Because not only are they fighting each other over a specific um a, a terms that you know in battle you know you fight with swords guns punches and kicks, but with the COVID-19 virus, it makes it very hard because nobody really wants to get a respiratory illness. So today we're going to show you how you can still fight, but at a safe distance. Here, for example, you could maybe fight from, say, six feet away, like as CDC recommends. So here we go. Um, let me see. This is a bad example of how we're you're the enemy is uh, meeting together. You can see they're not a safe distance apart. They're really way too close. And if one of them coughs and that, that spittle gets in the other one's eye, he's very much certainly going to get a virus of some sort and it's going to corrupt his lungs. So you could say this is really wrong and they should, they should separate each other. Over here, we also see the good guys. They're not also... Uh, doing separation. They're also too close together, so what if them farts on the one another, they could spread the virus. So you can see this is really bad. And we should try and maybe um, separate them. Now see, this is a safe distance between uh, combatants. These are very, they fall apart, like 60 feet. So here you see a great example of how you should really keep distance from one another because social distancing is where you don't spread the disease. So here we go. So let's say they want to fight each other. So let's say this guy, Rain, here, wants to fight Sub-Zero. Well, see, he could just use his long-range attacks. Whew. See, that worked perfectly. He didn't have to use any feet or, or, or hand-punchy things. He just shot a wing blast and knocked him over. See, but with G.I. Joes, it's hard because they don't have special abilities. So all they can do is say, ah, and scare the other one and knock him down. So usually that's probably the best way. Or if, say, this guy's got a spear and he walks over and says, okay, he's going to just stab him right in the chest area. See, this, is, this won't hurt him with the virus. It just hurts him with his weapon. <laughs> See? See, he's still dead, but he's not dead from coronavirus. He's dead because he got stabbed in the chest by this blade thingy. See, it's pretty sharp. Trust me, I cut my finger on it the other day because I needed you to put some butter on the toast. Really bad idea because I used it upside down. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. But see, as you can see, that, that, that's really what this is about is that, look, it, it, we take it serious, people. We don't want nobody getting this illness. Come on, we want to get the country and the world back to normal, whatever that means. Because people should be fighting and killing one another. Okay, God bless you and thank you for watching. Goodbye.